Well, Karen and I are on our way to the theater, uh, which is sort of like the theater, only it sounds more impressive. It has that sort of British thing going on, which is always impressive. We're not actually going to the theater in a theater. We're going to the theater in a chicken coop. Now, that's a little bit of a story, but we probably wouldn't be here telling the story if it weren't a bit of a story. So, the organ loft, which actually started out as a chicken coop. The organ loft was built by Lawrence Bray starting in 1946. Back then, theater organs were seen as having no value at all, and they were being pulled out of theaters, and he was there grabbing them out of the trash cans and whatnot and taking them home. In this case, home was a chicken coop, his parents' chicken coop, and he started moving all of the organ parts into the chicken coop and splicing pieces together and rebuilding things to turn it into this one giant theater organ which became known as the Colossus. This required a lot of remodeling of the chicken coop. For one, the chickens had to go away, but the weather had to be kept outside as well. His first organ was a Robert Morton that came out of the Utah Theater. Next, he was able to get Wurlitzers out of the Gem Theater in Salt Lake City and Ogden's famous Egyptian Theater. His biggest acquisition was New York Staten Island's Paramount Theater that had two consoles that he spliced together. In the 1970s, his nephew Larry started helping him with the place. And after Lawrence's passing, Larry continued to operate the place, which he's still doing to this very day. The place evolved from a hobby in a chicken coop into a big supper club and finally into a silent movie theater, which is what it is today. These organs were built to go into silent movie theaters to accompany silent films, which they did for only about 10 years because, well, silent films just weren't around all that long, were they? Silent movies never really were silent, they just didn't have a soundtrack on the movie. You had to provide music and sound effects and whatever other kinds of sounds you wanted to do live in the performance of the movie. And so that's what these organs were created to do, was create a soundtrack for these great old silent films with a live organist right in the theater performing. The organ loft isn't all that well known as sort of a select clientele, if you will. They only do a movie here about once a month. And, you know, not that many people show up. It's just people who know about the place and friends of the place and that sort of thing. And they come here and they watch these silent movies. And it's a great way to sort of relive the days of the old silent films and to hear this just magnificent instrument, which is coming on like 80 years old now. So if you're looking for something fun and interesting to do in Salt Lake City, go to the Organ Loft website and figure out what movie you want to go see and show up for that because trust me, you're going to have a really good time. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. That was, uh, that was goofy fun. That was wonderful fun. That was a lot of fun. I've, I, I've known about the organ loft for a long, long time, and I've been over there for years and years and years, and it never stops being quite entertaining and never, ever boring. Well, if you haven't been over to the channel, go over to the channel and check it out. And, of course, while you're there, you should, sub <laughs> you should subscribe. You should subscribe because that's that's fun and that way you will be notified of all the tomfoolery that we tend to get ourselves involved in and uh, you might also want to check out the website toymantelevision.com 
I'm not sure how you found this particular movie on the internet. I hope you didn't find it boring, because if you found it boring, I'm afraid you're easily <laughs> bored. And we will see you here again in one week with another great example of screwing around Toy Man style. I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>